Women's suffrage movement. Until 1920, women in the United States were not allowed to vote, a privilege reserved for men. The argument was that women were only homemakers and lacked the experience and knowledge about political issues. But women were just as capable and deserving as men to get involved in politics. This gave rise to the women's suffrage movement, which demanded change in the country's political climate, as women also wanted to exercise the same civil rights as men. Famous leaders such as Susan B. Anthony and Elizabeth Cady Stanton led this movement and gave women nationwide a voice by organizing marches, peaceful protests, and hunger strikes. One good example of their peaceful events and protests was when they organized tea parties to educate women and recruit supporters. In 1920, the 19th Amendment was finally passed, giving women the right to vote and choose the country's leaders. The women's suffrage movement was a stepping stone for women worldwide, as other countries followed this example and introduced changes that allowed women to exercise their civil right of suffrage. Environmental Movement The middle of the 20th century gave birth to the environmental movement, which focuses on environmental concerns regarding Earth. It rose due to the pollution, habitat destruction, and resource depletion brought about by rising populations, wars, and increasing industrialization. It gained momentum through scientific studies about the impact of human activity on the environment and how carbon emissions have been polluting the atmosphere, causing rapid changes in climates and temperatures around the world. Protests and grassroots activism have helped raise these concerns to governments, as studies showed that melting glaciers in the Arctic caused rising sea levels. Flowers were growing in the Arctic, which was supposedly too cold for vegetation. Different global conventions, such as the Vienna Convention, the Montreal Protocol, and the Kyoto Protocol, have been organized to allow different countries to discuss the planet's environment and how they can work together to minimize their environmental impact. Despite that, the environmental movement still faces challenges, including large corporations and highly industrialized countries that resist change. However, the movement has helped alter perspectives and lifestyles, allowing people to adopt measures that are friendlier to the environment and have minimal carbon footprints, which measure how much carbon dioxide a person produces. Black Lives Matter Movement The civil rights movement during the 20th century may have helped give equal rights to black people, but people of color still suffer from societal discrimination and unfair treatment. The 2013 acquittal of George Zimmerman in the shooting of Trayvon Martin and the George Floyd incident in 2020 gave traction to the Black Lives Matter movement, which echoes the struggles of people of color regarding police brutality and systemic unfairness towards them. Reports and incidents of black people getting mistreated by law enforcers have been around for decades, leading people of color to raise their concerns about how their lives aren't given the same value as the lives of white people in America. The BLM movement was at its peak during the 2020s, when law enforcers were suspected of mistreating black suspects. Protests included prominent figures, such as professional athletes, actors, and musicians. In Washington, protesters even projected the names of victims of police brutality onto historic landmarks. While the Black Lives Matter movement has pushed conversations regarding race and justice, it still faces concerns regarding the relationship between poverty and violence and crime within the black community. Still, the movement seeks to fight for better opportunities for black people to improve their livelihoods and minimize race-induced incidents. Me Too Movement The Me Too movement started in 2006, when activist Tarana Burke started it to address sexual harassment and assault issues throughout the country. But it was only in 2017 when it gained worldwide attention, mainly due to the rise of the Me Too hashtag on social media. Through the Me Too movement, more women were empowered to speak up about their own experiences of sexual harassment and assault. Before the movement's rise, women were afraid to open up out of fear of its social and legal consequences. But the movement doesn't only empower women to speak up, instead it aims to provide support systems to survivors of sexual harassment and assault while also holding people accountable for their actions. The rise of the movement has helped the evolution of sexual harassment and assault laws and rules in different cities and workspaces all over the world, making different environments safer for women. Anti-apartheid movement This movement emerged in response to the South African government's racial segregation and discrimination from 1948 to 1994. Apartheid itself was the system that separated people based on their race, as black South Africans faced heavy oppression throughout the country. The anti-apartheid movement aimed to end the unjust and 
oppressive system and allow everyone in the country to enjoy equal rights and treatment. During the middle of the 20th century, Nelson Mandela and other leaders led the charge and held protests and boycotts to force the South African government's hand. Mandela, in turn, was imprisoned for 27 years for his role as the leader of the opposition to apartheid policies. The international community supported Mandela and the anti-apartheid movement, leading to boycotts that affected the South African economy and international image. During the early 90s, the apartheid laws were finally abolished, and Mandela rose to become the country's first black president in 1994. In an exciting turn of events, Mandela told his fellow black South Africans to forgive their oppressors, allowing them to become more prominent. Anti-war movement. The premise of the anti-war movement is about saying no to war, especially after the first two world wars caused unprecedented loss of life and economic problems all over the world. Over 115 million died during the events of World War II. It's no wonder that the anti-war movement gained prominence during the 1960s, when it became synonymous with the hippie culture of preaching peace and love during the Vietnam War. During the 2000s, the anti-war movement saw a revival when the U.S. went to war with Iraq in what most people believe was not a fight for freedom, but a fight for resources because of Iraq's rich oil deposits. Supporters of the movement believe that war is never the answer to conflicts between nations, and that it would only lead to the deaths of innocent lives and the destruction of homes and communities. Protesters hold rallies to oppose war and advocate for peace and love. The movement promotes intelligent discourse among international leaders and governmental transparency about the reasons for going to war. Disability Rights Movement The disability rights movement started during the 20th century when people with disabilities were often excluded from society, especially in education, employment, and access to public services. This movement aims to fight for fairness and equality for those suffering from disabilities and to accommodate their needs. One of the most significant events in the history of this movement happened in 1977, when activists staged a 28-day sit-in at the San Francisco offices of the Department of Health, Education, and welfare, known as the Section 504 sit-in. The sit-in pressured the government to sign regulations protecting the rights of people with disabilities. The Americans with Disabilities Act was passed in 1990 to protect the rights of people with disabilities. As such, people with disabilities were given opportunities for education and employment and better access to public spaces, including ramps and reserved parking areas. Occupy Movement Popularized by the We Are the 99% slogan, the Occupy Movement protested economic disparities between the ultra-rich and regular workers struggling to make ends meet. The movement was characterized by the fact that only 1% of the population enjoyed comfortable lives, while the rest of the 99% struggled and suffered for the mistakes of the wealthy. The movement resulted from the 2008 recession caused by financial institutions when they faced substantial losses after housing mortgages defaulted. Supporters of the Occupy movement were outraged by the housing market crash, primarily caused by wealthier people belonging to the so-called 1%. At the height of the movement, protesters occupied New York City's Wall Street, one of the capitals of the country's financial industry. They camped out in protest against the existing financial system. They criticized companies and financial institutions for the unfair distribution of wealth, eventually opening the opportunity for people to call for more economic accountability. But the Occupy movement didn't just seek to disrupt the financial market during the protests. Protesters gathered around 5,000 books and formed a library to improve grassroots education and income opportunities. The Occupy movement didn't change the financial system, but it raised awareness of the income disparity in society. Feminist movement The feminist movement started in the 19th century when women fought for the right to suffrage. Since women won their right to vote, the feminist movement has grown and allowed women worldwide to enjoy better rights. Feminism, however, was never meant for women to enjoy special privileges while pulling men down. Instead, it advocates for women to have the same jobs, educational, and political opportunities as men. As such, laws have have been enacted to trim the societal disparities between men and women. Supporters of this movement also seek to reject traditional gender roles. During the 1968 Miss America protest, feminists threw various items, including bras, cosmetics, and girdles, into a freedom trash can to symbolize their hatred for traditional beauty standards. The feminist movement has since evolved into something bigger. Today, feminists also fight against gender discrimination, regardless of the person's gender, while also opening discussions about reproductive rights and violence against women. Labor movement. The movement aims to help workers stick together to fight for better treatment in the workplace while advocating for fairer wages. It began in the 19th century when rapid industrialization demanded more laborers. However, workers in factories and mines faced harsh working conditions that a 
affected their health, the laborers organized strikes and protests to demand improved working conditions and higher pay. The grassroots beginnings of the labor movement are one reason labor unions exist in many different industries worldwide. Laws have also been enacted to protect workers' rights and improve workplace standards, which gave rise to an economically more robust middle class. Supporters of the labor movement also helped different labor unions. During the 20th century, a group of labor union members often traveled to different parts of the U.S. to support striking workers, showcasing the solidarity of laborers in the country. Over time, the movement grew stronger, leading to essential changes like establishing labor unions and laws to protect workers' rights. These efforts improved working conditions and helped create the middle class. Human rights movement, the horrors of World War II, and the unprecedented loss of life brought about by the Holocaust, which both caused the deaths of over 75 million, including 6 million Jews, gave rise to the human rights movement, which promotes fairness and respect for every human. This movement initially promoted the value of human lives, but it became a catch-all social movement that fought against all manners of unjust treatment, including discrimination, slavery, violence, and injustice. It ensures everyone is treated with respect and dignity, regardless of race, gender, religion, or nationality. The rights of the human rights movement gave rise to international human rights treaties, most notably the 1948 Universal Declaration of Human Rights. It also contributed to the rise of the Office of the United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights and the different human rights commissions found in most countries. Arab Spring Movement The Arab Spring Movement was a social movement that started in Tunisia when a street vendor set himself on fire in protest against corrupt and unfair governments. The movement grew in 2010 through the concerted effort of people who facilitated and coordinated through social media platforms such as Twitter and Facebook. Traditional forms of activism also played critical roles in the protests. Since then, people all over the Arab world have worked together to organize protests against harsh and oppressive governments. People set up demonstrations across the region to demand more freedom and respect for their fundamental human rights. The movement eventually spread to other Arab countries. In Egypt, longtime leaders Zine al Abidin Ben Ali and Hosni Mubarak were ousted from power due to protests. In Syria, a civil war broke out, causing devastating conflicts. Then, in Libya, a civil war resulted in the overthrow and death of Muammar Gaddafi. The outcomes of the Arab Spring movement were mixed, as some countries experienced favorable results that helped change their culture, while other countries caused turmoil within the populace and the government. So while social movements can help push society forward, they can also pull them backward, depending on the methods used for protest. 